a vision to create a center that could foster creativity across all the disciplines, not just in the arts, but also could engage in public policy. How can the arts change America's policies, or the world's for that matter? Uh, the Curb Scholars Program is the first and still I think the only undergraduate scholarship for creativity in the nation. We select from every incoming class of Vanderbilt students a group of scholars who are exceptional for their creativity and leadership and their interest in social enterprise. These are people who have interesting creative skills that they want to collaborate with others and work for the good of the community. They go through a four-year program here of workshops uh, designed to exercise the core competencies of creativity. Imagine taking a class in Victorian literature and Charles Dickens, and instead of writing a paper at the end, which sounds really tiring after reading a 900-page novel, imagine making a movie um, that takes Charles Dickens' Bleak House and turns it into um, a meditation on walking in Nashville. Not just artists, but people who are out in the world, in professions, They're, they have immense stores of untapped creativity and we get to uh, help bring that out and support it. If you truly want to have creativity and innovation and ideas that make a difference in society, it helps if you can translate that into not just individual practice but also group practice. Mike Kerb's a legend. Uh, he's the largest independent record producer in the world. Uh, he's been successful in, uh, as a musician himself, as a songwriter. He's produced uh, over 400 number one top hits in his career. He believes that the arts should make a difference in the world. Uh, he's uh, really, uh, his spirit is something that we try to carry on in the Kerb Center.